I actually spoke to this young man today about what I'm doing here. And A, he thought it was really, really cool. Sent me his latest highlight film. But B, um, boy, I nailed him like a split hog. I mean, absolutely nailed him like a split hog um, when it comes to the evaluation process. And I was telling him about it. Um, his name's Jared Wilson. Okay. He's listed as a tackle. He will be playing guard at Georgia and he's going to be a good one. Okay. An absolute behemoth and he can move. Matter of fact, here's a hot take for you. This kid will push Michael Morris for his playing time. The playing time that everybody assumes Michael Morris is going to get Jared Wilson. Jared Wilson will push him for every single bit of that. Every single bit of that. As will Dylan Fairchild, who I think is a guard. Um, I know he plays tackle at West Forsyth. We'll get to him when we get to him. I don't think he's got the foot speed to play tackle in the SEC. We'll figure that out. Um, but this kid right here, this is what Matt Luke's going to be going after in the in the very, very near future moving forward. Guys that are massive, massive individuals. Okay. I think he was listed at around 320 pounds. Um, I texted him today watching this film and I was like, uh, what was your height and weight your junior year? Because I guarantee you, you're six foot four, 335 pounds. And he kind of laughed. And I said, What's funny? He goes, That's exactly what my height and weight was. And I was like, Yeah, that's why, that's why I got a group of people that, you know, pay me to evaluate tape. I'm just kidding. I didn't say that, but I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good at what I do, which is this right here. This is what I do. Um, here we go. So first thing you need to know about him is he's a dancing bear. I'm telling you that right now. He is a dancing freaking bear and he's a bear that plays with effort. Okay. It's kind of, it's a repeating revolving door, right? We talked about with Jackson he's extremely tough. Javon, extremely hard worker, plays extremely hard. Jared Wilson plays extremely, extremely hard. Maybe them ratings are a little overrated, right? You know what I'm saying? Like maybe they, maybe they are just a little bit overrated. Here we go. Let's take a look at him. So he's going to get out on the edge right here. Now he gets beat play side. That's not why we're here. We're not here to watch Jared Wilson get beat play side. He lost this rep in all intensive purposes. When I'm grading him, he lost the rep until you see this right here. Okay, that right there, that right there is why I'm a believer in Jared Wilson, okay? Because of the same reasons I'm a believer in Amarius Mims. Because I know that there's no way, there's no way that a kid that practices this daggum hard in a scrimmage, a scrimmage, a scrimmage, look, this is for nothing, no points, ain't even a damn scoreboard. Buddy is out here playing this hard. Those kind of things I take home with me, okay? As an evaluator, I mark them down, say, I don't have any questions about this young man's willingness to succeed, okay? He wants to be better. Now, this is what I see. Again, incredible effort. Incre I mean, incredible effort. But here's what I want you all to notice. A, we already got it in here. That is indeed a big joker, okay? He is a mountain of a man and he shrinks space really really well remember all these all these issues we found on film this year with ben cleveland in space blocking screens doing things like that this kid is not gonna have a problem doing that we talk about all the time putting guys in your parking space that's about as good of parking or putting a guy in your parking space as you can do right there he absolutely swallowed that kid up immediately and then finished really really violently My kind of guy. I'm telling you right now, my kind of guy. 039. What do I got on here? These are the type of athletes that Luke wants. Okay. This is perfect. What happened to my stream? All right. We good? This is perfect for what we were talking about last night. Do you remember last night on the film session how we talked about how Georgia was kind of struggling with slants against inside zone? struggling with getting on different levels and adjusting to a guy slanting in front of him. Well, this is exactly what Jared does right here. The linebacker, excuse me, the down lineman that he's blocking kind of backs up on him, okay? Just jumps back and is trying to wrap around. So what does Jared do? You can't see him because he's behind the goalpost right here. Excuse me. He adjusts 
really, really quickly, gets his feet back up underneath him, and then damn near puts this guy in the back of the end zone. Okay? So that's exactly what's happening right here, where what we've seen on tape all season long, it seems like, where 90 right here is going to try to swim move this right Jared Wilson. He's got him up in the air. He's going to win. Okay? He actually gets back onto the play side of Jared. What's Jared do? He wins with effort again. He's just uprooting guys every single time. 153 is where we're going next. On my note sheet, I've got want to play guard in the SEC, you better have a hand shot. Okay? Watch him out there. This this may seem like a, a pointless thing to be putting on the highlight tape. Okay? But if you're going to take three techniques and block them on base blocks by yourself, you best be about a 350-pound bench presser coming out of high school. I mean, best be, okay? If you're a 280, 290, 300-pound bench presser, you might be able to survive. But it helps a whole hell of a lot if you can press 350 or in a case like Ben Cleveland, 500 pounds, okay? Um, it helps a lot. 350 might sound like a lot, but it's really not. Okay, I guarantee you, based off of what that looks like right there, where he's just literally extending his arms and throwing a kid about four yards, um, he's probably a 350 pound bench presser. I would imagine. Let's go on to the next one. 203, the very next play. He's here at right tackle. He kind of messed up his circle. Um, how many times this year have we watched over and over and over again? Georgia offensive lineman trying to run power or trying to run counter and kind of looking real sloppy in their footwork and sloppy in their athleticism, getting to the point where they need to be. Watch Jared right here. Watch Jared. Whoop. I mean, guys, I'm, I'm telling you, I've skip pulled. I've coached skip pulling. I've done all that. That's picture perfect at 340 pounds. Okay. That is marvelous. That is a good football player, okay? There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. None. That's a good football player. And here's the deal. So, matter of fact, I'll, I'll save it for the end. Matter of fact, we'll get to the end right now. Here's the deal, okay? Here's the deal about my man, uh, Jared Wilson. Okay, I asked him today. I asked him today, straight up to his face. I said, um, did you ever go to camps? You ever go to camps? And he said, "Yes, sir. I went to uh, I went to camps, but only college camps, only camps in which the coaches put on, okay, the programs themselves. Back when we could do these things prior to COVID, he only went to those. Never went to a rivals camp. Never went to an opening camp. Never went to a camp that wasn't funded and ran by football programs. We read you some offers." He had an offer from Alabama. He's committed to Georgia. He had an offer from Auburn. He had an offer from Clemson. He had an offer from Florida. He had an offer from Ohio State. And he had an offer from South Carolina. Take your four and five stars and go home. Take your ratings. I don't need them. I've got my rating. It's right here. He went to nothing but college football camps and he got nothing but offers from those coaching staffs. What else do you need to know? Look at the tape, get the opinion of the guys that actually matter, which is the head coaches of these football programs, especially a place like Clemson. Guys, Clemson don't just be handing out offers for no reason. They don't, okay? If Clemson gives you an offer, you can commit to that offer right there on the spot. That is how they operate. This kid's good, good enough for Clemson. He's good enough for Ohio State. He's good enough for Bama. He's good enough for Florida. He's good enough for Auburn and South Carolina. He's good enough for every Power Five conference in this country. But, yeah, he's just a three-star because some Florida fan wants to get up in your mentions and say he's just a three-star. Kirby landing them three stars again. Watch the tape. Okay, let's get on to the next.